Alrighty, uh, I'm back for another tutorial, and uh, this one is going to be a tutorial involving using a third-party program in Lightwave. This is how to make a very detailed human model very, very quickly using a, uh, uh, a program called MakeHuman. And this is the MakeHuman interface, and as you see, uh, you can download this. This is a free program that is open source and just do a search for make human it's all one word um, sourceforge.net is where you can you can find it but um, really it starts out with this bizarre kind of male female hybrid kind of person here and uh, what you can do is just drag um, to get the basic body type you want if you want to create for example a male you would drag more towards the male side and if you want to create a female you would drag down to make it more feminine and the age as well you can make it as you see when when you when you uh, increase the age we'll make it a guy so it doesn't all right when you increase the age as you see it adds the little paunch and it adds the little glove handles and stuff like that and then when you decrease the age to a certain point you see he's got six pack abs and then if you keep going and make him younger he starts getting in to be like a little kid okay so you can determine what you want. Let's make a guy who's like in his mid about here. Kind of like me. Let's see here. We'll make him like a big muscle dude though. Alright, let's see here. Oh, we don't want I'm not like that. I'm not that big. I'm more like well. Yeah, I got I got six pack abs just like that. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, body shape you can make a more like a, a big muscle dude or you can you can just kind of play around with it until you get what you want so we're gonna make a muscle kind of guy and then if you just drag here and um, uh, drag with the right mouse button you'll be able to uh, translate the the uh, model spin with the mouse wheel and you'll be able to move in and um, drag with the left or middle button and you'll be able to, to orbit the camera and then um, up here you can um, this is this this uh, button corresponds to this panel here, which is the body type, and this panel here corresponds to the various um, uh, items you can manipulate on the face and the body. So, for example, if you want to manip manipulate the eyes, you click on the eye icon, and then you can go ahead and start changing the shape of the eyes and how big they are, and well, you can make them closed eyes. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can make them big or small. And as you manipulate these different sliders, you can get a person that is totally unique just by manipulating these different sliders here. You can, as you can see, you can make uh, various uh, races. You could become Caucasian or Asian or uh, anywhere in between. Uh, you can do the same thing for the mouth. You can start manipulating stuff like that. Uh, the nose has many many controls so as you can see you can start manipulating the nose you can make a, any kind of strange nose you want and as you can see now we've got a, a totally unique person already and uh, <clears throat> some of these don't have any controls if you click on these controls as you can see there's there's nothing here. It, oh, oh it does I guess there is something here it just doesn't show up so you can go ahead and manipulate you can give him a longer arm or a shorter arm and uh, items like that now I don't know why we'd want to manipulate the fingers as you can see it doesn't really do anything cheeks give him kind of sallow sunken cheeks or whatever when you're done with your character so let's say this is the guy we want as you can see in no time at all we've got a, a totally unique looking human being <clears throat> and uh, a very detailed model we didn't really have to do anything with and if you were to go back here you could go back and, and you could uh, create a female version of this just by dragging around uh, to the female version and whatnot but that's kind of a, a good looking uh, character. I'm going to save the settings for this click on save and uh, because this is a freeware version it has this kind of bizarre um, uh, setup here it doesn't have a true file requester. I'm just going to say this is a oops hawk nosed man all right, and hit escape. And now I'm going to save this. All right, we 
we save that as an object file and uh, it says obj file exported and thankfully Lightwave reads those files natively so we don't have to really do anything with them hit escape and uh, then I'm just going to go ahead this is a export Collada file uh, I don't know if you know about this Collada is the new um, file format that's going around it's going to be the de facto 3d file format for uh, basically every program is going to be able to export Collada data back and forth so you could create a model in Lightwave, animate it in Maya, texture it in Soft Image, all that kind of stuff using this Collada you'll be able to go back and forth uh, we don't need to do that yet poses library I haven't really got some of these don't seem to really do much at this point uh, okay we're you can I guess create character poses there's really no need to do that here next thing we need to do is open this guy up in Mahler let's go to file load object let's see here there he is mesh.obj and as you can see there he is in all his glory in all his polygonal glory and uh, he uh, is very detailed as you can see that's the character that we had um, but he's still a, a bit, you know, he's polygonal, so we'll just hit the tab key. And now he has been turned into a sub patch object version of himself, which will look very smooth and good in Lightwave. And then you'll have to go in and touch up some stuff. If you were to, let's go to the side view, and if you go to wireframe mode, he actually comes with uh, a good set of uh, teeth and dentures and stuff. And then you'll, you'll want to go in and maybe go into the, uh, underneath the lips here, the lips kind of curl up as you can see there, there's a few um, yeah, there's a, a, a few uh, points that if you want to animate lip sync and stuff like that you're going to have to move those around a little bit, but really I mean, you can make infinite numbers of really detailed looking human beings in no time at all, and that's a pretty good looking uh, uh, character model um, that is a good base for something, and it, if you don't want to use that you can use use him as a, uh, a basis for something. Now the only thing is they are a bit heavy there's a quite a bit more geometry like for example I don't really care about having a belly button on my character but later on I go ahead and just put clothes on on these guys and then we're, we're done with that so that's a very quick introduction to this. As you can see the muscles and everything are appropriately modeled and you know what they're doing is they, they take like a, a base model and then they just manipulate the various parameters on it um, but it's really good because you know other programs that do this stuff cost quite a bit so I would take advantage of this make human uh, while you can and uh, I don't know if they have a I'll have to go back to SourceForge see if they have a donate to the author button or something like that because it's definitely worth it if you're a Lightwave user um, this can save your butt because I've had projects where I've had to create lots and lots of different characters in a very very short period of time and I don't have time to model all these guys by hand so um, I hope this uh, helps you out and uh, helps you to uh, get more um, efficient in, in your modeling.